Yeah. What's up, bitches and gentlemen? <laughs> Welcome to another week of working on the 914. We're putting in a passenger seat today, so we're putting on these tracks, getting it done. Everything's redone, uh, ARP bolts, so everybody will learn how to do the bolt stretch thing when, as soon as we get the, the bearings. Uh, and, and I can balance them. The, 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 the crankshaft is ready. It's just sitting over there in a plastic bag. Uh, so the crankshaft's ready to go. The oil pump, I think we finally decided to use the Carrera oil pump. We're not gonna use the bigger pump and grind the case. Needs to be, oh, I wanted somebody to possibly work on the uh, work on getting a, a passenger seat mounted so we can take it in and out. Um, so I, I tried the racing seats, and the racing seats are not going to work at all. And the reason they're not going to work at all is because I we did I didn't hoopty this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. <laughs> loop it so whoever is in there is in here is going to be short shinned against the the dashboard uh, what like yeah they're going to be noticing uh but i still think there's enough room to do it if we want to put passengers in and take and take the petty bar out so i'm going to have somebody work on that too tonight you don't have the new brakes yeah no i don't have the new brakes and then when i get the new brakes i still have to have the adapters made so we are changing the brakes. We have never used them. I bought pads for them and we're changing them. It's because classic. we're going from brakes like this to brakes like this. And we should be able to run a whole weekend on one set of pads because they're ginormous brakes. Same brakes, Foxter brakes. Uh, four piston, super light. Uh, they're remarkably light, but they're great brakes. Um, Want to pull the fuel tank and do the fuel lines to the back? We could. We could start. I think I have enough high pressure line. So we need to go tank, pump, filter. Is the filter not before the pump? Wait a second. Yes. Tank, filter. Let me get the tank, filter, pump. Tank, oh, crap. You go tank, filter, pump, and then back into the hole, back to the stainless steel line that heads to the back. And do you want to do just, do you want to run a return line? Or? So we'll have to, it, there's already run one there. So the return, when you pull the tank out, you'll see it. There's, because there's two different size lines. I think it's eight millimeter, and nine millimeter. So the eight millimeter line is a return line. Okay. So that'll have to go back to tank. Okay. So if you do a carb setup, you won't use that, right? Yeah, and if we do a carb setup, we'll just plug, we'll it, just plug it on this end. It'll have fuel in it, but uh, we'll just plug it on this end, okay. I think. I think that'd be the best way to do it. But we could get it, we, we could do, we could do a return fuel pressure regulator even on, on a carbureted one. We could, you know, they ha they do have low pressure returns on some of them. Won't we need one if we're using the same high pressure pump? What? Won't we need one if we keep this pump? Well, the whole, the whole issue is the surge tank. The whole issue is the surge tank. Um, so we're doing a surge tank? <sighs> I, I, you know, this thing is gonna run out of gas so fast that our heads are going to spin. It's going to run out of gas so fast until I can afford to buy a fuel safe fuel cell <laughs> that goes right in that same spot. But it won't have the cool 110 millimeter filler on it. Why not? Uh, they have regular filter fillers built in. And we'll have to poke another hole in the hood right here. And measure in there. So who, who wants to work on the fuel lines? I need two people on fuel lines. I'll do the seat. Uh, so you two just mess with the seat, okay? Sure. I'll find a bracket outside. Fuel line, 
Blake. Fuel line. Who's Blake. gonna work with Blake on I'll the fuel Blake. line? Huh? I'll help Blake. Okay. Do the vinyl. Uh, here you are, stuck with oh, no. stickers again. <laughs> hey, we well, a, hey, nice we thing we is, okay. we got we a huge okay. roll, so if, we, if it gets screwed up, oh we can just keep pulling it off and cutting a new piece. Um, and, then, and then, so Reef, you'll be with the first gentleman. We have done this. Okay. <laughs> this weekend, uh, if you're just if you're interested at all, it's Porsche Club weekend. So they're running on the track all day Friday, all day Saturday. I'll be instructing on Saturday, but they will not probably let me take ride alongs. Jared and I future, are driving out on Friday afternoon to deliver to get rid of the 911S. They're going to store it at Wright. Have you met Wright and his wife? They're going to store it at the track, and the windshield just got put in by a place over there. Um, Oh yeah, you know that. You looked at it. They did it pretty good. It cost money though, 500 bucks for the windshield and the install. That's pretty good. For me. Considering that I couldn't find a windshield for under 429. That's it. There's the other one. That's it, bro. All right. All right. So he's talking about this bracket. Me and That's Landon are trying to early. buy this. Yeah. I thought I remembered them. You were. <laughs> Back through there to the other stainless steel. That turbo is destroyed. What? Why did you say it's not a didn't have the right bolts. Oh, okay. I was like, it's not a 13. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I, I saved two bolts for that purpose. Okay, because I was like, one's a 13. <laughs> So see what I do as I start it first, so it doesn't cross thread. That's cool. Let me see one of the little screws. Right in like butter. Nice. Did you get these moving? I moved them a bit. So but I lift gonna, them and we're gonna need Smarty spray there. Smarty spray. I couldn't find it. It's here. Let me see. All I can find was WD-40. Oh. You'd be pissed with that. Well, not pissed, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> What are you guys doing with this? We're putting this back in. Like a plastic uh, It's like a foam, just a sound deadening. Oh, so, okay. Because it wasn't in here before, and then it's like, I want it back because it hurts my ears. Makes sense. So, but yeah, it's in. The place All right, it took us yeah, ages right. to get That's the seat in. Yeah. Landon, finishing like, touches. Like, oh, where did you get one? Sorry, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, bud. Passenger seat mounted. Driver's side, still not. I'd like to get in a wreck with that thing in your gut. No, you don't have okay. to wear a seatbelt. <laughs> okay, do this. Go, go up with the adjust, so the seat tips all the way down. Yeah, it's flat right now. Is it all the way down? It should be all the way down. No, go the other way. All the way down. Right there and let that thing clip back in. Now go all the way back. You still have a little bit of room. They have season pass, I'm like, wow. That's trying to get out of That's doable. Yeah, he's tall. Out, he's tall too. Plus, if you feel like, like this, you're chilling. I think with the bar out, it's okay. Am I gonna make it this next month? Yeah, it's all right. Don't you think? Yeah. You're, you're taller. Yeah. Crazy. Well, with the bar out. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be good. Yeah. I mean, it's a passenger seat in a race car. It's yeah. not supposed to have a passenger seat. <laughs> no, it's hey, a trick, man. Then, Slick. right now. You guys get to go mark off passenger seat. <laughs> Woo! It's done. 
Yeah. Before oh, before the driver's but, seat. But you need to add on there. Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Yeah. The passenger. Is it even on here? Oh, mount passenger seat. Just get a cheap. Done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I never knew you weren't, um, that you were left-handed. Yeah, bro. It's my little claim to fame. Nice. Cool. She done.